Sonic's Green Hills Adventures. Season 5, Chapter 9, Home Invasion, Part 1. Movie Shadow's point of view. As we ran back to Marina's house, Modern ran beside me. Hey Shadow, when we heard the commotion earlier, you had a look on your face that concerned me. What happened that you're not telling me? Modern asked in deep concern. I wasn't expecting that to be brought up, so I sighed sadly. Well remember the curse Sonic dealt with? I asked seriously. Yeah! How could I forget? Modern replied nervously. Well it was officially called the possession virus and in the last nightmare he had, he was whipped. And then on our summer vacation, after we got Almer powers, a marine biologist forced us to surrender to her for study. She snapped to an extreme degree when it came to Marina dating Sonic. I said but I couldn't get the next words out for the memories were too painful and made me choke up. Shadow what happened? Modern asked seriously. She, she tortured Marina to the point of passing out, including with a whip. Her lash wounds were much more severe than Sonic's, but thankfully I knew what to do and that's also when I discovered my healing ability. I replied shakily. No way! It's no wonder movie did what he did just a few minutes ago! Modern said in horror. Movie Sonic's point of view. When I overheard Modern and Shadow talking about that infamous day, both me and Marina stopped in our tracks just as we arrived in front of Marina's house. Oh, Modern, it was a thousand times more horrible than you're picturing it. Immediately after that woman tortured Marina, was brought to where they were and the sight of Marina was unbearable. She was crying and screaming in agonizing pain as I held her in my arms protectively. She even passed out again, and that dark sonic from you saw was triggered which is when my protective instincts are at their peak. I apparently scared her so much that it brought her back to her senses and she never bothered us again. I sat and then turned to Marina. But Marina, why didn't you tell me it was bothering you this whole time? You know you can tell me anything. I could help you through it so much sooner. I asked in deep concern. I'm so sorry, Sonic. It's just, it was a moment that was already upsetting you. I didn't want to make it worse. From now on, no more secrets. Marina said as we hugged each other. Then after the hug, she looked me dead in the eyes. No, I know this won't be easy to answer, but, but how do you survive all those years alone, especially the harsh freezing cold Montana winters? Marina asked me with deep seriousness. It took me several moments to find my words because I didn't want to look back to those times ever again, especially the harsh winters. Well, survival in general was thanks to Long Claw, she taught me everything I'd need. However, since we lived on a tropical island, we didn't get cold winters, nor snow, so I was completely unprepared for it. The first year was the hardest. I thought just sitting in my cave would be enough to protect me from the cold. But it wasn't so I ran into town and found a house that was empty. I found a way in and stayed there until it was warm again, not long after that winter. I found that the house belonged to a family who goes on a long winter trip every year, so that's how I managed. However, one year the weather was so bad that I couldn't make it to the house and I got very sick, which scared me because that would mean I was vulnerable to being attacked by larger animals. I felt more alone than ever up to that point. I kept asking myself questions in that moment like, am I going to die like this? So on that no one would be there to mourn me, miss me, remember me. I couldn't continue and sobbed. All of a sudden, I felt several arms around me. I opened my eyes to see the others hugging me. Sonic, don't worry. That will never happen because you'll never be alone again. Marina cried as she hugged me more firmly. Thanks, guys. I really needed that. I said happily. Then we headed inside. Meanwhile, Amobius and Echidna was running to his hut where his father was. Father, I have news. We finally located the hedgehog. The Echidna explained as he caught his breath. This is excellent news. Knuckles now, where is he? Knuckles' father asked eagerly. He's on a planet known as Earth. Knuckles replied seriously. Then all of us must prepare for the journey. Knuckles' father exclaimed and the whole tribe prepared for another ambush on our blue hero. We are almost ready but before we leave, I have a mission for you Knuckles. Go to Earth now, and do some reconnaissance, and report back to us once. You have enough information to ambush him with no chance of him escaping again. Knuckles' father explained with pride. As you wish, father. I won't let you down. Knuckles said confidently as he took out a portal ring and prepared to throw it. Be careful, son. Knuckles' father said as he quickly hugged him. I will, father. Knuckles said and with that, he left for Earth. But when he arrived, 
It was in the woods not too far from GUNHQ. Dr. Robotnik's point of view. Finally, after four months I finally escaped. However, as I was running past the cells I heard someone's voice. Hey wait, take us with you. We hate the Wachowskis just as much as you do. She said as I saw the teenage girls in a cell. Very well ladies, welcome to the team. I said as I used my tiny drone for this exact purpose. And we ran out of the facility. As Robotnik was running through the woods, he ran into Knuckles. Who are you? Robotnik asked curiously. I'm Knuckles the Echidna. I'm here to spy on a blue hedgehog with extraordinary power. Knuckles replied darkly. This made the three humans smirk deviously. We'd be happy to help you get that power. Robotnik replied reassuringly. And we know where he lives, Green Hills, Montana. Jay added happily. I see, but how can you help us get his power? Knuckles asked for he was skeptical. I'm a super genius with an IQ of over 300. I believe I can manage. Robotnik replied boastfully. Very well. What are your names? Knuckles asked as he pulled out two portal rings. I am Dr. Robotic. I'm Jade. And I'm Veronica. They replied happily. Then Knuckles threw one of the rings. This will take you to my tribe. I'll meet you there. I have a mission to complete. They nodded and ran through the portal. Once it closed, he opened the second portal to Green Hills. Modern Sonic's point of view. As we entered Marina's house, I couldn't get what movie Sonic just told us out of my head. Did a kid at such a young age really experience a scenario that would bring those questions to his mind? I suddenly felt tears falling down my face. Like I said before, I haven't cried in a very long time. Dib and Jessica seemed to notice me and ran over to me. Hey Modern, are you okay? Dib asked nervously. Well, we just found out how movie survived those 10 years starting at such a young age. I replied and then I proceeded to tell them everything. As I was doing this, Movie Sonic and his brothers were busy hugging Tom and Maddie as their parents comforted them and reassured them. Oh my gosh, that's awful. Jessica exclaimed once I was done and I couldn't agree more. To know he was so young and so alone that he pondered those questions at all was too much. I didn't want to believe it, despite the fact it was true. But now knowing he found a family and happiness calmed me down eventually. Well guys, it's been a long and exhausting day. Let's go home and get some rest. Maddie said and we left Marina's house. Movie Knuckles point of view. Once I arrived on the other side of the portal, I found the blue hedgehog walking out of a house with three other hedgehogs. Two taller creatures and long claw. I couldn't believe it. Sonic wet. I heard a female voice say as I saw a pink and teal hedgehog girl running over to him. What is it, Marina? See you later, my love. Marina said as she headed back inside. This little bit of information could prove useful. I thought as I began to follow them and listened in. That's when I noticed that Sonic was holding a baby in his arms. And that one of the hedgehogs looked almost exactly like him only taller and had peach arms. Modern Sonic's point of view. As we were walking to the Wachowska house, I noticed that movie Sonic still looks sad. Movie, are you sure you're okay? You still look a little down. I asked gently. Well, it's just that I never wanted to revisit those memories again and the nightmare still has me pretty shaken up. Movie Sonic replied, but before I could say anything to comfort him, Anika suddenly giggled as she grabbed on a Movie Sonic's nose. This immediately brought a smile to his face. Oh, thanks, Anika. I really needed that. Movie Sonic say gratefully as he kissed her forehead. Oh, I'm sorry, big bro. I just thought it might be important to keep the past experiences of your dreams in mind. I didn't mean to make you feel worse and more scared. Silver said with a guilty expression on his face. No need to apologize, little bro. You're absolutely right because I didn't even think of that until you brought it up. I mean, it took everything from me for 10 years. They're to blame for it. Not me. It happened so fast that it took weeks to recover from the shock. Movie Sonic said as he gritted his teeth in anger. I immediately put a hand on his shoulder. Well, for one more, let them hurt you nor anyone you care about again. I said reassuringly. Thanks, Modern. You're a great friend. Movie Sonic said as we side hugged. Movie Knuckles' point of view. I couldn't believe Movie Sonic dishonored my tribe's good name like that. And even more so when I realized there were two Sonics in front of me. As well as the other two hedgehogs who are apparently Movie Sonic's brothers. I wondered if my tribe would be interested in them too. This reconnaissance mission was way more fascinating and useful than I originally expected. Finally, I saw them approach a large two-story house, so I hid behind a nearby tree. 
Us who to be home. Movie Sonic said as they began to head inside. No kidding, Sonic. This day was crazy. The black and red hedgehog added as he stretched his arms in exhaustion. Well, who's up for chili dogs? The tall female creature announced enthusiastically as I saw the hedgehog's faces light up. You know us too well, Mom. The black and red hedgehog said as he entered the house. I was even more intrigued by this fact. These tall creatures took them in. I felt satisfied with what I discovered and was about to head to Marina's place for. I felt I needed to learn more about her before heading back. However, as I was retreating, I realized I wasn't too stealthy about it. Modern Sonic's point of view. I was the last one to start entering the house when I heard footsteps a short distance behind me. I stopped in my tracks which caught Maddie's attention. Aren't you coming in modern? Maddie asked me in confusion. Ah, yes, I just need to do a quick evening run first. I replied. Okay, don't be too long, or else your chili dog will get cold. Maddie said playfully. Don't worry, I didn't let that happen, ever. I said reassuringly, then once she closed the door I headed towards where the footsteps were coming from. When I got there, I couldn't believe it. It was an echidna. He was apparently spying on us. Hey, who were you spying on us for? I demanded as I charged him. However, he stopped me in my tracks as he pinned me against a tree. How did you do that? Who are you? I demanded with a little fear. I am Knuckles the echidna, and I'm just doing reconnaissance work for my father. Although there's a lot more to this than I was expecting. Especially that hedgehog girl. There's something about her that tells me she's more than what she's letting on. Knuckles replied viciously. I couldn't believe it. Movie Sonic's fear was real. They're all still alive and still after him. And now they have an interest in Marina too. I tried to get free from his grass, but to no avail. Hey, leave her out of it. Now let me go. I demanded as I struggled. No. I want to know why you look so much like my target. Knuckles demanded, tightening his grip on me. Fine, I'm an alternate version of him from a different dimension. But to make it less confusing, call me modern. Now let me go. I reluctantly replied as I started to struggle again. It looked like he was about to do it. But instead he held me by my neck, away from the tree and reared his arm back. Wait, what are you doing? I said in a panic. I can't let you just walk away after you found out I'm here. Knuckles said ferociously and he punched me so hard that it sent me flying all the way into movie Sonic's old cave. As I landed, I heard a loud crack. I screamed in pain right before my head hit a wall, knocking me out. Movie Sonic's point of view. As I finished my dinner, I got a strong feeling something was very wrong. He shouldn't modern be back by now. I mean, he promised he'd never let his chili dogs get cold. Pretzel Mom asked nervously. You're right. I knew something was wrong. I'll go find him. I said as I put my dishes in the dishwasher. Then I dashed off. However, I didn't get very far before I found footprints and they made me nervous. There was a struggle, but my instincts told me not to follow them as they instead pulled me towards the woods. So I ran into the woods hoping to find my friend. Modern Sonic's point of view. I finally regained consciousness as I felt a headache coming on. I held my head in pain as I tried to stand up. However, that didn't last long as I gasped in pain and collapsed to the ground. I looked down as I realized the pain was coming from my ankle. It looked normal, so I cautiously brought it closer to examine it. Ha! Ah, oh great it's sprained! How am I going to get out of here, let alone we're moving Marina? I said out loud in frustration. I didn't realize Knuckles planned for that to happen, but suddenly, I heard something running. Hello, who's there? I screamed cautiously hoping it was a familiar face movie Sonic's point of view. As I followed my instincts through the woods, I heard Modern's voice. I slowed down to a walking pace so I could pinpoint where it was coming from and not accidentally pass it. Modern, where are you? I called as I carefully looked around. I'm down here. I heard Modern say as I was close to my old cave. I froze. I really didn't want to go inside, but my friend needed me. So it took several deep breaths to calm my nerves and jumped down. Modern, what are you doing all the way down here? I asked in concern as I noticed he was holding his head and ankle in pain. I hate to tell you this, but your timeline's Knuckles is here! I caught him in the act of spying on us! He's not working for Robotnik, but his tribe is still very much alive! He used his super strength to send me flying and I landed here! Thanks to that I not only got knocked out, but it sprained my ankle! But I'm not the one you should be worried about! He's going to Marina's house, she seems to be coming a target too, so go help her! Modern told me reluctantly. I couldn't believe it, 
Silver was right on the money about his theory, but couldn't leave Mudder like this. I took out my phone and dialed Shadow's number. Hi Sonic, did you find him? Shadow asked me as soon as he answered. Yes, but he's hurt and Marino is in serious danger right now. We're at my old cave. I explained frantically. I'm on my way. Shadow said and hung up. Then he appeared next to him. Don't worry, little bro. I'll get him back. But what's going on? Shadow said as he picked up Modern. I'll explain everything. Modern replied. I have to go? I said as I got ready to dash off. Wait, be careful. If he could take me down, someone who has been doing this kind of thing for a long time, including defeating gods of destruction, then it might end badly. So don't underestimate him. Mother warned me seriously. It made me nervous, but I'd face anything to keep my loved one safe. Don't worry, Mother, no one. I said and then dashed off. Oh, Marina, please be safe. I'm coming. I thought as I ran even faster. Marina's point of view. After dinner, I decided to head to the pool for an evening swim. After such an emotionally draining day, I could use some relaxation. It sure was a beautiful night as I jumped into my pool. Once I transformed and started swimming, I couldn't get today's events out of my mind. It was horrible to see Sonic so upset. I couldn't bear to think about what would have happened if I wasn't there and had such a unique talent for calming him down. As I razor faced, I felt as if someone was watching me. Movie Knuckles' point of view. Once I arrived at Marina's house, I heard a loud splash and headed towards where it came from. I was careful not to be seen as I saw the hedgehog resurface with a fishtail. I knew there was something odd about her. I thought as I continued to watch, then I realized she looked like she knew I was there. So I quickly hid myself even more. Then I saw her do the strangest thing. She made a stream of water float next to her. Who's there? Show herself. Marina demanded as she looked around frantically. I realized I was caught and stepped out of my hiding place. I'm Duncan C. Chidna. I'm doing reconnaissance for my father. And I must say I wasn't expecting to find someone as intriguing as you. I replied simply. However, when I saw the look of recognition and fear in her eyes, I stopped in my tracks. Marina's point of view. Man, I couldn't believe what I was seeing but Euclid recovered. So let me guess, you're here to ruin my boyfriend's life all over again? Like that's ever going to happen? Oh, I said and used my waterwood technique on him. It wasn't as effective as I was hoping for, but it caught him off balance temporarily. I hit him again three more times very ugly so he couldn't recover. However, that was a mistake. He fell into the pool. I was cornered now since I can't steam dry my tail off like Sonic and I, I stood my ground. Impressive, Marina. I'm sure my tribe will be interested in you. Knuckles said with a dark smirk. Movie Sonic's point of view. I finally made it to Marina's place and could hear noises coming from the pool, so I carefully went over there. I saw Marina on the pool backing away from Knuckles. I saw Rock on the ground, so I picked it up and threw it at his head. Hey, stay away from her. I exclaimed as I revealed myself. I still couldn't believe the day I feared was here. They knew my location now. Well, well, if it isn't you, Hedgehog. My tribe finally found you almost 11 years after you got away. Well, I will ensure it will be impossible this time. After all, that power of yours will benefit us greatly. Knuckles said as he got out of the pool. We'll see about that. I'm not going down without a fight. And I especially want all of you to fret my loved ones. I said as I triggered my lightning form and got into a battle stance. You're no match for me, Hedgehog. You shall be dishonored by my victory. Knuckles said as he got into his own battle stance. Marina's point of view. Well, Knuckles was distracted. I got out of the pool and grabbed a nearby towel. I immediately dried my tail off. Once on my feet again, I ran to stand by my sonic side. There was no way I would let him face this guy alone. Marina? What are you doing? Please get out of here. Sonic pleaded shackily. No way. I'm not letting you face him alone. We both know what he's capable of. I said firmly as I got into my own battle stance. Knuckles' point of view. I realized what I needed to do. So I charged up my fist and headed straight for Marina. I successfully knocked her out. Marina? Sonic cried as he tried to get over to her. However, I blocked him. Where do you think you're going? Hedgehog! I said as he stopped. I then knocked him out. I'll be bad. I said as I opened a portal, picked up Marina, and headed back to Mobius. Once I got there, I looked for my father. It didn't take me too long and when he saw me, he looked confused. Son, what do you have there? Who are these strange creatures that arrived here? He asked as I walked up to him. 
Someone close to the Blue Hedgehog. Those three want to help us. Robotnik said he can help us get his power. As for the information I gathered, this is bigger than we ever thought. There are five powerful hedgehogs there, including her. I said as I placed her down in front of him. Is that so, Wudung Knuckles? He said when suddenly, we could hear Marina starting to wake up. So I quickly put her in a cell. Marina's point of view. As I regained consciousness, I realized I wasn't on Earth anymore. I was locked in some sort of cell. What the heck, where am I? What's going on here? I cried in a panic as I saw Knuckles walk up to the cell. We're in my village, on Mopius. You might prove useful to us. However, my tribe and I have an ambush to attend to. Robotnik, I need you and your team to guard her until we return. Knuckles replied as I saw a lot of etchiness looking prepared for just that. And I couldn't believe it not only was Robotic here, but also Jade and Bronica. Oh please, you can't do this, leave them alone. I pleaded as I felt tears stream down my face. However, instead of answering me, Knuckles walked away. Then one of them opened a ring portal. Then I turned to Robotnik and his new lackeys. What do you three think you're doing? This is a new low for you. I demanded. Revenge, duh. And it looks a more than just that blue rat now. Jade said victoriously. As for getting that power, I'm gonna make it as painful as possible. By the way, you seem so familiar. Where are you? Robot Nick added darkly. Oh right, you here were taken away before that. It's me, Marina. As for this form, you can thank Beryl and his spellbook for that. I replied as I temporarily turned my original form for him faces and then turned back. Well, no wonder Knuckles brought you here. Robot Nick said deviously before they all turn away to ignore me. Movie Shadow's point of view. After Modern explained what was going on, I got a sickening feeling that something was wrong. So, after I brought Modern back to the house, I headed over to Marina's place. When I got there, Sonic was unconscious. Sonic! I cried as I dashed over to him, and I took him into my arms. Sonic, can you hear me? Please wake up, little bro. Say something. I said as I shook him frantically. Finally, he opened his eyes and sat up with a jolt. Marina? Sonic cried out. Whoa, calm down, little bro. It's me, I said, as I tried to calm him down. No, Shadow, you don't understand. He knocked her out right before me. Where is she? Sonic said as he trembled in my arms. I looked around and I couldn't find her. All I could do now was rub the back of his ears, rocking him slightly and shush him comfortingly. Movie Sonic's point of view. As Shadow comforted me, I got an epiphany. Knuckles took her to Mobius. We have to go after her. She's been taken to Mobius. I know that sound dangerous, but who knows what they're doing to her. I said as I hurriedly got up, but I got up a little too fast and got a dizzy spell and almost fell. Luckily, Shadow caught me. Wait, Sonic, take it easy. I agree with you on that. However, you're in no condition to save anyone. Let's get back home so Mom can check you out. Shadow said with his older brother tone insistently. I sighed and hugged him. Chaos Control. Shadow cried and we appeared in our kitchen. Movie Silva's point of view. The moment we saw my brothers, all of us, except Modern, ran over to them in concern. Big bros would have pinned. I asked as I hugged them out of relief that they were back and safe. Or so I thought. Once we ended the hug, I realized Sonic was in panic distraught. Sonic, are you okay? I asked carefully. No, Knuckles took Marina back to Mobius, and now I have no idea if she's okay or not. Sonic replied shakily. I couldn't believe it, my future sister-in-law is in the hands of the very people who ruined Sonic's early childhood. Then suddenly, Sonic fainted in Shadow's arms. Um, Knuckles knocked him out before taking Marina. Is he going to be okay? Shadow asked fearfully. Mom then walked over and knelt down to Shadow's level to get a closer look. Yes, he'll be fine. He just needs rest. Mom replied reassuringly. We all let out a sigh of relief. I'll take him to his room then. Shadow said and hated upstairs. I'll keep an eye on him. Lonclo said as she flew up after them. Same goes for the rest of us. Dad said seriously as Shadow came back down. Movie Shadow's point of view. As I arrived in the kitchen, Modern cleared his throat as he looked at me. So I walked over to him. What's up, Modern? I asked curiously. Didn't you say you hit healing abilities earlier? Think you can heal my sprained ankle? Modern asked sheepishly. I sighed sadly. Possibly. It's just that I've never healed internal injuries before. Up to this point, I've only healed flesh wounds. I replied nervously. Please try. I know you can do it. Modern asked again encouragingly. So I took a deep breath and nodded. Chaos heal. 
I exclaimed as I focused my power on his ankle. A few minutes later, I saw Modern smile happily. It worked! I knew you could do it! Thanks, Shadow! Modern said as he stood up and hugged me. No problem, Modern. I replied as I hugged him back, and he immediately ran up to Sonic's room. As the rest of us headed to bed, I texted our Urkin friends about the situation, and I would let them know if we need their backup, but to prepare now so they can be here quickly when we need them.